Okay. Now I gotta ask you about these these super lover C stories. You know, <laughs> we gonna bring y'all something a little different. You know the same thing and and, and You know uh, what I have for you, man? What do you have? I had we so we rolling. Oh, we rolling. Yeah, That's cool. Rolling. That's cool. We had um I, I brought I put it together, man. It's uh just some of the old clips that I have from from the magazines. Right. Um, from the rap report, from right. BRE, Billboard, you know, some of those things like being 77 on a chart. It was, it was in the top 100, you know right. what I mean? And, um, you know, you always get these questions like, you know, what happened? Such? So we asked the same question, you know, what happened? Right. But um, as we talked about before, man, you know, you look at some of the history. Hold on. Yeah. Before we get into that, yeah. what did you think of the documentary? Now that it's out, you got a chance to see it. Give me your honest opinion. Well, I saw... I saw the 15 minute version. I didn't right. see the whole 35 minute right. version, right? So from what I saw, it was a good documentary. I liked yeah. it. I was cool with it. And you did a fantastic job with it, Thank you know? You. I'd like to see the whole thing, you know? <laughs> so <laughs> I, I'm not gonna sit here and say, yeah, that was the best documentary ever. And then, but I didn't see the whole thing. So I'm gonna be very honest on that. Right. Um, How important mm -hmm. is it for these documentaries to be made on artists like yourself? Well, the thing is, when if a story is not if your story is not told and if, like, you know, someone else can tell your story. Right. Um, the thing about stories are that's exactly what they are. They're renditions of what somebody heard versus what somebody thought they saw versus a perception. And um, that's just what it is, man. And uh, if you don't tell your own story, then guess what? Somebody else is going to tell it for you and it might not be the right story. So what's getting out there um, just doesn't, you know, may not be the, the, the real deal. However, it doesn't take much for people to look at it and go, did you hear? You know what I mean? So um, that's just it, man. These stories are so important, man. And, and I really appreciate what you're doing and, um, and giving me the opportunity to actually come out here and, and, and talk about, you know, Super Lover C and, and some of the things that happened back in the days and, Let's talk yeah. about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, ready to I know. get a story or two from it. I know you always want to get a story right. too. So, um, what, you was telling me about the, the clips. Let's go to the clips. You were talking about the, the magazine clips you had. The, oh, so the magazine clips right. we were just talking about basically um, about some of the stuff that we've done, like being being in the industry, being in the, in, in the top 100 billboard chart. And... Um, that was just that one. You know, you right. still talk about Jack the Rapper and the VRE right. report, and you know, the rap report. Um, just up there, you know, major, did major in, in, in the industry, man. We, we made our mark, you know. We didn't come, we didn't do one hit and disappear. We came back and, and came back, back and right. back. And then, you know, um, but the, the game is what the game is. Right. Um, and I'm going to be honest with you. I don't like calling it a game. Right. You know, music is an art form. Right. You know what I mean? If you want to, you know, really get down to it, yeah. it's an art form, and um, we put we put our artistry into it. You know what I mean? And um, you know, it, it turned out the way it turned out, and it's unfortunate. You know, I have a few questions. Plus, okay. There's a lot of fans that when I put the short portion of the documentary out, mm -hmm. they had a lot of questions. Okay. So you answer what you want to answer. Okay. But I'm gonna ask some questions, and then I'm gonna ask you to tell a story. That's fair. Okay. We get one story and a few questions and let you get on your way. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> so, a few questions. Mm -hmm. What is the biggest misconception that you feel is attached to you guys when it comes to Super Lover C and Casanova Run? Um, the biggest mix misconception is, um, one, we fell off. You know what I mean? Um, just talking about that whole thing there. If you get into something that for a positive reason, you know, right. and, you know, you got to take into the, the, the account that we were, um, I was 19 years old, first time doing anything major in, as far as business. But when you start to see that it, uh, every time something unfolds, it doesn't look 100 percent, you know, it doesn't feel 100 percent to you. Eventually, you have a choice. You have a choice to stay in it or you have a choice to walk away from it. You know what I mean? So the biggest misconception is that we walked away from it. You know, I mean, I'm sorry. The biggest misconception is that we fell off. We right. actually walked away from it. You know what I'm saying? And, now I, you're saying walked and away from I, well, it. I'm going to say this, and I'm going to be fair. And I got to be honest um, when it comes to Casanova Rudd because I can't speak for that brother. Right. 
But I, I have to say, for me, I had to walk away from it. I had to walk away from it, stand back from it for a minute, and, well, and, and, and really balance out. Right. Yeah, what am I doing here? Well, why did you walk away? What um, made you say, I got to leave it alone? Too much. Uh, I felt like I was in a snake pit. A snake pit? I felt like I was in a snake pit. Okay. You know, so... Um, you know, you feel like it's, it's, it's way too much going on. You're trying to you, you're trying to do what you're doing. You put your artistry out there. You're trying to, you know, come up like everybody else. But it was too much going on. You know what I mean? And um, I felt like, you know what? Uh, too much I didn't understand. And I like to understand things. Right. And there's so much that, that, that wouldn't be, you know, exposed. You know what I mean? So um, you have people that represent you. Uh, some of those things don't turn out well. There's a lot of, of course, any business, there's a lot of things that go on behind the scenes that you don't understand. And you have a choice. Either you stay in it or you walk away from it, you know? Right. Um, I like to, to, to reference um, um, the comedian. We talked about, uh, right. what's his brother's name? <laughs> um, Dave Chappelle. And, um, you know, Dave Chappelle kind of did the same thing when I when I kind of looked at you know his his little clip that he did saying well you walk away from it because sometimes you feel like you know you're being screwed around with right so you walk away and basically you know that hit home when I seen that because that's how I felt you know well, let, let me ask you this yeah. question mm -hmm. right so Paul C gets a lot of a lot of and I'm speaking loudly because I'm not close to you. Okay. So I'm trying to make sure everybody's like, oh, you always talk, but we can't hear you. Mm -hmm. So I'm speaking loud enough so they can hear me. Mm -hmm. So Paul C. gets a lot of credit for a lot of artists' music. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's fair that you don't get as much production credit to your album as is contributed to Paul C.? Because in the comments, right, a mm -hmm. lot of people are like, oh, Paul C. did this, mm -hmm. Paul C. did that. But I want to see if there's anything that you might want to clear up in that area when it comes to paul c paul c did contribute of course he did you know paul c understood the sound paul c was a fantastic engineer paul c contributed to the overall um project um however there's the there's a misconception there paul c only did half of the album yeah. when everyone thinks that he did the entire album right so there was another half done with rod way at green street studio right um, you look at the production and you look at the credits on the album, it says exactly who produced it. So is that overlooked? You think? Well, it is overlooked. It's so overlooked. Who, who's, who's name well, it, well, it's, as the producer? it says me and Rudd, you know what I'm saying? Okay. It says C. Frederick and E. Renicki. Okay. Um, the thing is they give the credit. Well, most of the credit seems like, well, it's, this is the thing about it too. When you start looking at who's doing it. You're here, we're here in the States, but you get a lot of overseas right. uh, um, individuals who really weren't there. It's just all hearsay. You know what I'm saying? Again, that was kind of I said, you know, that, that they're not here to witness it, but it's all hearsay. Right. So, yes, the man was talented. The man was a genius. The man contributed. You know what I'm saying? So he didn't actually bring the music to y'all. Well, our music, we brought ourselves. We, right. you know, we came so with he, complete he ideas. Yeah, we came so with... He played more of a an engineer and arranger is that safe he, to say? He, yeah he engineered and arranged it pretty okay. much you know what i'm saying um would he throw an idea or two in there of course he was you know right. what i'm saying you know he was excited about um the, the information that you know he was putting out and he was a part of it man so we don't take none of that credit away from him as far right. as being part of the project and contributing to it yes um but you know there's another part there's another piece to it and right. then i always say this if you took the production and removed it from Super Lover C, you still had Super Lover C. Right. So we have to take that into account. You know what I mean? So we take nothing from Say them. Say that again for the people that listen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you take the music and production and remove it from Super Lover C, you still have Super Lover C. Meaning the way you rock, the way you My rock, cadence, my style, do, right? what I do. You know what I'm saying? Um, my lyrical, you know, content, that my artistry. Yeah. That leads me to another question. Yes, sir. Do you think when you came in at the time, you kind of changed the way rappers was rapping? Because how was rappers actually rapping when you came into the game? Um, 
definitely different from what I was doing. Let's, so give me an example. Yeah. Like that I'm not going to give you no examples. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't going to start that. <laughs> We're not going to start that. But, but listen, on, though, but I know, but you. Know. But the thing is, like, you know. Up, this is what mm -hmm. I'm trying to say. Right? Okay. Okay, so when Rakim came in, right, mm -hmm. it was more like the Millie Mills, that kind of thing. And then when he came in, mm -hmm. he came in with the slow flow, mm -hmm. and he kind of changed it. That's what I mean. I don't mean like... <laughs> anything different. basically i'm saying this right so basically all i can say is this that i knew coming into the game right. that if i sound like someone else right i sound like someone else if i came in differently i came in different i put a lot of hard work in that and i think we talked about in our right. last um our last uh piece that we did is that um there was a lot of stuff that went to cutting floor you right. know when i wrote do the james do the james actually was about four more records on the album Right. You know what I'm saying? Because that's how much I wrote for it. Okay. What I didn't like said, nah, that don't fit. Let's, right. nah, let's put this in that. But it had to have that style. It had to have that cadence to it. And where what, did you come up with that style? Um, just being different. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you kind of looked at the landscape. Looked at the said, landscape and said, you know what? I missed the tape, why should it stand out? And it's more like it's melodic, too. So right. if, you listen to the, if you listen to the cadence and the style that I'm using, it bounces to the music. Um, and it bounced to the music, and that's, that was by design, you know what I'm saying? So it's, um, it's a melodic um, flow of lyrics, you know, over a beat. And um, also um, the pitch, the, the, you know what I'm saying, the tone, everything. So it was a lot that went into it. It right. wasn't, yeah.